You know what? I'm just going to say it from the beginning of the video. If you are mixing your music on a set of studio monitors and you don't already have one, you need this sub. Bottom line, end of story. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Pitbull Audio. Be sure to check them out for all your audio gear needs. They've got great bundles you won't find anywhere else. Give them a call, check them out. Now let's talk about this sub. KRK has updated its line of subs for 2021, which comes in an 8 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch version. The unit I have in my hands today is the S10.4 10 inch Active Studio subwoofer and retails for $449. It's got 160 watts and features a 10 inch glass aramid composite subwoofer. Base extension reaches 28 Hz. It's got a max SPL of 117 dB and Class D powered amplifiers, which increase transient responses and deliver better punch. It's got redesigned cabinets and improved porting, which leads to better low frequencies. The front port, in my opinion, actually gives it a nice, sleek look, and I really dig how they gave it a lower profile over the previous model. It stands about 13.5 inches tall, 19 inches wide, with a depth of about 12 inches. Regardless of what type of connections you need, the S10.4 has got you covered. On the left side, we have RCA unbalanced up top, balanced XLR and TRS inputs in the middle, and TRS and XLR outputs below that. On the bottom, we have a port to connect a bypass foot switch to make it easy to compare mixes with and without the sub with a power indicator next to that. In the middle, from top to bottom, we have your volume knob and a four position crossover which makes it easy to adjust settings to match your monitors. Below that, we have four switches, your input sensitivity, a polarity switch, standby, and a ground lift option at the bottom. And on the right, we have your power switch and AC adapter connection. Now I'm a bass head, I've been listening to 90s hip hop, rap, and R&B since the 90s, so I listen to a lot of bass heavy music like UGK and Webby, so when I ride around in my car, I have a 12 inch subwoofer in the trunk bumping pretty loud doing its thing, so for me, I have to have that bass to vibe and really feel the music, so how I've been mixing music this long in the studio without a subwoofer is beyond me, but let me tell you, I've had these Rocket 7s for a little bit it now, got used to them, everything was fine, and then I connected the S10.4 and my jaw dropped to the floor. All of a sudden, I was vibing in the studio the same way I do in the car, just jamming and music came alive. Now I live in an apartment, so I don't really blast it that loud. I keep it at a comfortable, moderate level, just enough for me to get a good mix with that extra bass added in. But I wanted to give you something instead of nothing, so I'm gonna run a quick test, about maybe 10, 15 seconds of music without the sub, and then with the sub so you can hear the difference. Now it is gonna be using the microphone in my camera, so it's not the best microphone, but again, something better than nothing, so let's roll that test. So who is this subwoofer for? 
producers, especially those who make hip hop, rap, R&B, EDM, dance, techno, anything really that has a lot of bass in it where you need to hear those lower frequencies. Engineers, especially engineers who need to hear that lower end to get a better clinical mix and really just anybody out there, especially if you don't already have a sub. It completely changed the game for me and I'm willing to bet that it'll do for you. The S10.4 is a banger in my opinion and one I'd highly recommend. Now that's going to do it for today, so as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted each time I upload more content. So thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.